I want to open a shop or you know show bring it to the people that the shop is not basically designed for uh, very conventional or very retail or I don't want to put it like just set a name on it I'm I am I've been done um, styling and I've been doing you know um, art directions and creative direction so I'm thinking, why don't we come up with a shop that, you know, um, somewhere that we, um, artists to artists, we can, you know, discuss and exchange idea and share the knowledge. So the place that where artists can be themselves and, you know, discuss whatever they want to be and showcase whatever they want to be. So the idea behind is, the, all the things that I'm going to bring over here is the curated selections of whatever I like. People who get my style and who gets what I, I, I'm going to present, then they will appreciate here. So I'll be carrying paintings and some Burmese cultural artifati craft and also some clothing lines. And uh, you know my sister is doing fashion design, so I'll be carrying most of her evening gowns and um, her clothing couture's, couture's and clothing stuff. And also the um, the style of like men's and women's um, that that uh, those are like my sister wears are uh, more towards like um, couture and evening gowns, right? So I'll be carrying ready to wear styles that I pick. And then it will be goes by season by season. And also in the future, I plan to have like uh, artists with the workshop, uh, you know, sessions over the weekend, people who come here, hang around and discuss those um, activities. Well, and now we have Art to Art. So we will be sharing, um, you know, discussion, like what we say, like artists to artists. We can speak heart to heart we, because we will be like what you, you be guiding to us like we'll be airing on YouTube so there is no censorship <laughs> just just say frankly how you feel like and but we don't mean to be you know like um nothing personal just sharing sessions <laughs> that's what you told me <laughs> but it's very personal. yeah it's very per not, not very personal yeah Yes. <laughs> well, thank you for that. <laughs>
actually, I don't want to call myself as creative director, or I don't want to name as stylist or you know designer or whatever. But I'm the person that I really appreciate art. Like since I'm was a kid or child, I crave for art and craft. Like um, it's whenever I can do things, and I find it uh, things with art, then I will be happy. You know. So you can see my parents are not very, very supportive of being an artist, and then they believe that being an artist is not financially, you know, strong enough or to survive in the market. So, but I wasn't care when I was young. I just stay do whatever I liked to do. But also, there's a lot of pressure in my family lines that they want every sibling has a, um, you know. Um, um, either doctor or engineer. It has to be at least one. So, so this is where I start breaking the rules. So <laughs> you know, um, so um, so until like high school. After I graduate high school, I compromise some of, you know, I do whatever they want me to do, and I find my own way to have a chance. So there's one art school come over here. And I told my dad, like, oh, you know, I'm still studying whatever you ask, you want me to study, which is English major and computer study. And you know, people, I mean, my family, they really think that computer study is equivalent to um, doctor or engineer, so some kind of engineering thing. So maybe, do you think you can let me study like those multimedia, um, which is called uh, SAE here? Um, it's a school of audio engineering. Oh. They have two uh, subjects. One is um, multimedia, and another one is audio engineering. I so I go. And I went to study um, uh, multimedia. But I, what I really like is graphic design. So uh, it was it was very exciting and challenging experience for me. And but it's the Thing that I can show to my parents that you know I'm really good at what I'm doing. So um, I, they let me study in father study in Singapore. I studied three years there and worked in Singapore for seven years. And then I came back here to work for Ogilvy Myanmar. You know, you created a platform here, this wonderful environment here, where you'll be showing lots of fashion and artists and and painters and jewelry makers and craftspeople and it will be a place for people to be seen and uh, that must be very exciting for you because that's a realization of a dream I would think. yeah it is it's I want to go to the directions at less retail mm -hmm. and more towards um, adventure of art that's why I even give a name art venture mm -hmm. when you like you know um, pronounce faster, then it become adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, so adventure arts and uh, exploring. I mean, it's a place that artists can explore their dreams. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'm planning to have a um, weekend session, like sharing sessions with the artists and some course work. So basically, if I'm to understand you right, and I believe I do, is that art venture is a platform and an environment that allows you to have events, yes. show artists, um, have parties, have seminars, mm -hmm. uh, you know, have, have people show their art and speak about it. Yes. Um, you know, we're using it here to, today to film our pilot. Yeah. Uh, and, um, and so that would be very exciting. And so several times a month, you'll have some sort of activity going on here. So it could kind of create a, yep. a, a place there from from a lot of the uh, artists that I've spoken to here, uh, unless you are a straight, uh, pure fine artist that people like to define it, and you're a painter or yeah. a sculptor, yep. um, or you do traditional crafts, um, there's no place to show your work. Yeah. Uh, there's no real fashion hub here. Um, and so, so anybody that works out of the sphere of traditional art, mm -hmm. um, they're, they have a hard time showing their work, and, and uh, this will be very nice because it will give people that do um, other types of work uh, mm -hmm. to be seen. Yeah.